Hello everyone and welcome to this second channel video. Uh, I assume if you're watching this video you've seen the video on my main channel about building the joystick for Flight Simulator. And you may be watching this just for more information or you may want to build this joystick yourself. If you do want to build it then I have a list of all the required hardware components down in the description below as well as links to the 3D printer files and also the code. Uh, I decided to make the whole thing using off-the-shelf parts and 3D printer components because I'm sure a lot more of you will have 3D printers than CNC routers, so I try to avoid any aluminium custom parts. I've also avoided making a really complex assembly manual uh, because I'm not sure how many people are actually going to build this and it will take a long time to make a step-by-step -step, uh, build guide. However, if you watch the video on my main channel, it's a pretty good um, guide of how to assemble most of the parts. A couple of things you do need to pay attention to are the uh, polarity of the magnets or the position of the poles of the magnets. Um, I show that in the video of where the north and south sides need to be. It doesn't matter if the north and south are reversed because it's quite hard to tell without a compass which one is the north and south but they have to be either side of the Hall effect sensors and for the rudder pedals they both have to be pointing the same uh, direction in terms of uh, magnetic pole direction. Also the spring mounts for the joystick are very important in terms of their forward and backward position um, because the joystick has the angled section to miss my chair when I pull full back elevator um, that causes the joystick to be slightly um, heavier on one side and it wants to tip um, towards pulling the elevator back so the position of the spring mounts will adjust the tension in the front and back springs um, and you basically want to adjust it so the joystick uh, is perfectly vertical when in the resting position. The electronics are relatively easy to wire up, um, especially if you have knowledge of electronics already, which I assume you will have because you will need to know how to solder the wires. In terms of the Hall effect sensors, the wiring in my main channel video is correct to how you wire it up, uh, but depending on which Hall effect sensors you end up buying, whether it's the exact same ones that I um, have listed or another one, uh, they can't be bipolar uh, Hall effect sensors because that means they're either on or off rather than an analog continuous uh, signal. So you need linear Hall effect sensors and also make sure you check the data sheet for their wiring. Um, otherwise you could blow them up if you wire them up the wrong way. All the switches are really easy to wire up uh, because all they do is they connect between um, an analog input pin on the Arduino and the ground on the Arduino. And what this means is if you have lots of switches close to each other, um, like in the throttle case, um, you can simply just wire one ground wire from the Arduino up to where all the switches are, link all the grounds together, and then have the other pins connected to um, connected down a long wire to the Arduino. So although you still need a wire per signal um, point or pin, um, you can just run one ground wire for all of the switches, which makes it a lot simpler. The most difficult part of the electronics is keeping track of which wire goes to which component. Um, I made the mistake of not labelling all of them, and when I got round to uh, doing all the Arduino code, trying to figure out which input is connected to which uh, joystick axis or switch was an absolute nightmare. So make sure you label all of the wires before... Um, uh, writing it in the code or at least making a note of which pin they connect to on the Arduino. So once everything's wired up you need to make sure that you have the Arduino joystick library downloaded from GitHub which I've linked in the description below um, and also you need to add this to the Arduino software by doing the add zip library option. Then you can open up the code that I've supplied via GitHub or you can copy and paste it from GitHub into uh, one of the Arduino windows and the only thing you really need to change with the code are the pin inputs from the switches or Hall effect sensors. I wouldn't recommend uh, following my exact pin inputs because they're a bit all over the place as my wires were a bit jumbled up, but just make sure that they do match your hardware wires. If you just want to run the joystick and throttle without any other switches, uh, then a lot of the code could be removed because the actual uh, joystick code is very basic. The complex part of this are the switches and the buttons. So um, depending on whether you want to add more switches or get rid of all the switches completely, uh, the code can be adjusted. Um, and I've I've labelled like the sections of the code, so you can always just um, add more to it or remove any if you don't need it. Once you have all the correct pins uh, set up in your code to match your hardware wiring, uh, you can go and upload that to the Arduino board. 
and then if you go to the Windows Games Controller setup uh, menu then you should see an Arduino micro option. Then from there the setup is pretty basic as uh, it's pretty much the same as if you had any other um, purchase joystick. All you need to do is go through the calibration setup and then your joystick is all calibrated, open up Flight Simulator and then assign all the switches and the joystick axes to the correct options and obviously make sure nothing's reversed. And then that's pretty much it for the joystick. I hope this was a good enough guide for you guys to build your own joystick. Uh, if you do end up building one, it'd be great if you could uh, send me a picture via Twitter or something. Uh, I think I'll link that in the description. Um, I've got too many links in this description. Um, or if not, you can always post it as, uh, um, I think they call it a make on Thingiverse, so that it shows up on the Thingiverse page um, so other people can see um, other people that have made the joystick. Uh, I'd like to thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up down below. And if you're new to the second channel, please click subscribe. Um, and yeah, I guess I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully with a new joystick. Goodbye.